lovely girls and welcome to the Lean Girl YouTube channel, your favorite place, obviously. Today we are doing a full day meeting, you guessed it, and I'm going to be taking you along for the ride today, showing you what I get up to and of course all of the delicious meals that I'm going to be eating. As you know, all the meals are always high protein, they are low calorie, high volume and damn right tasty. So I'm making and changing things up. I know I was having meals on repeat for like too damn long, but since I've been back from Cape Town, I'm like, I need to bring some spice into Joburg, people. So I am now changing up my meals. No more lean girl pizzas. No more, okay, I did have oats for breakfast. That will never change, never, ever, ever change. Um, but I'm going to be showing you some new cool, cool meals that I'm loving at the moment and also just sharing a little bit of my day, what I'm up to. I actually don't share enough personal content because all the stuff that I do on IG, I'm always like, I just want to add value. I just want to, you know, give you recipes. I just want to give you tips and advice and hacks and um, all of that good info on there. And then sometimes I'm like, okay, like, hold on. I haven't shared anything with you guys for a while. So this video will be a bit of that, just sharing with you guys what I'm up to. Um, just to start off the video, I guess I'll do like a little body check-in with where I'm at. So I've kind of been maintaining my weight and really trying to focus on building lean muscle, which is like, yeah, I always say that because it takes so long. It's like, I'm always doing that because I always have to be doing that. So my calories are around maintenance. I am trying to stay as lean as possible while still building muscle, which is why I'm at maintenance, essentially doing like a recomp. So losing fat, optimizing build, building muscle and some days I go a little bit over my calories some days I go a bit under I'm sitting around 1800 to 2000 calories a day and I'm so happy there I have so much energy I'm really pushing it in the gym I've been smashing my workouts which feels amazing like it just blows my mind how your body like this one little muscle can lift like five kilograms and then like six would be hard and then suddenly it's lifting seven how the things that I think about girls the things that I think about so let's get started into the food today I'm gonna take you backtracking because it's actually about to be lunchtime but I had a super busy morning so I actually plan to do a little rewind back to the beginning of my day and um, just yeah went to gym already um, had some meetings managed to shower that is a goal that is a goal of mine um, but before I shower, I actually wanted to share a bit, about, a bit of my morning routine with you guys as well, which I have been loving so much. Guys, if you start your day waking up, not actually setting your intention for the day, like having a moment of peace. If you wake up crazy, you roll out of bed, you grab a coffee, you go on Instagram, you scramble to get ready. You, if that's how you start your day, this is the sign that you are not doing that anymore. I really want you to, it's like, I always use the analogy of someone that's gonna run the Olympics, and you know they put their feet into those starting blocks, and if you don't put your feet into the starting blocks, which is your little morning startup routine, there is no way you can push off into the day with maximum power, focus, energy, mindfulness, and all of that stuff. So, you don't have to make it complicated, it doesn't have to take long. I wanna show you what I do in the morning to get myself ready to make sure that I'm showing up for you girls like my best damn self, because you deserve that. You deserve me showing up as my best and the world deserves you to show up as your best. So you better get on it, you better get on it girl. Let's do a rewind, start back at the end of the day and let's check out what Ange is gonna be eating. That's exciting, food. <laughs> Let's go.
Okay, girls, it is lunch time. The second favorite part of the day, the first part is breakfast. Now we get to make lunch. And today I've decided to do a little savory pancake because you know I always have pancakes for breakfast. So we didn't do that today, we had good old oats. So I'm gonna head into the kitchen, we're gonna do a savory mince bolognese high protein pancake with some yummy mince inside. How good does that sound? It's actually cold today. It is like very cloudy and like cold. So this is gonna be the perfect delicious dish. I'm gonna start cooking it up in the kitchen. Guys, what makes me very sad is they know there's no natural light in my kitchen. So I'm sorry that it's always like this harsh down lighting that's not very aesthetic. It's not very zhuzh, but we're gonna make it look beautiful anyway. Galen's at gym, he'll probably come in while I'm cooking. He always does that sneaky. So he doesn't have to help with lunch. He goes to gym, like super late. And then he's like, I'll be back. And then he'll send me a message like, babe, have you started lunch? I know your tricks. Oh, your tricks, bad, bad man. Okay, let's get into some savory pancakes. So, I just got a couple of things from Willie's Delivered and I have to show you what I got because it's a recipe that I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna be trying tomorrow. And I wanna see in the comments, just based on this one ingredient, if you can guess what your girl is going to try and make tomorrow. for these can you actually deal is my husband home yet to eat with me no so I'm now gonna have to make his lunch predictable but freaking amazing I'm so excited for these I haven't made them in such a long time and we get four delicious savory pancakes yes lunch let's eat finally getting to eat when my husband has arrived back from gym Congratulations, well done. It's a pleasure. Hope you had a good workout. Don't mind to deprive you of my company. Yes, thank you. Okay, let me show you what our savory pancakes look like inside. Are you ready for this? Guys, it's the tree sauce, the mince, 
the spicy, it's not spicy, the tomato sauce, the spinach for a bit of freshness. I'm going in. The girl's going in. Babe, you didn't get pancakes because you went chat. <laughs> So it's an angle. So it's an angle of what? Of my tongue. Ha pip. Ha pip. Okay, dolls, it is around four o'clock now, and I've been working my booty off at my computer today so i normally have like filming days and then i have desk days but today's a bit of a combo because i'm obviously filming my what i eat in a day video but the rest of it has been with my tush at my computer why because i've been working so damn hard on our new lean body lab program so my signature program the lean body lab it has been around for three years and i was like it is time to upgrade this thing make it even better so a lot of work been going into that and I'm so pumped. It should be launching end of August. So that's coming super soon. Um, can you see Gigi there? Jesus, so working hard. Um, so it is time for a little afternoon snack. We've actually been having dinner a little bit earlier these days. So my afternoon snack is not as big as it used to be. I'm just gonna have a little grenade bar and some Trix chips. But before I do that, um, see I have to stand for the lighting over there i wanted to show you guys the probiotic that i've been taking so you guys know about four weeks ago i did a full gut health interview with an amazing lady named meg she is called the gut health guru and she shared so many great insights so if you've been wondering about gut health like what's true what's false what are the myths then go check that out but i wanted to tell you guys about the probiotic that i've been taking like religiously every single day and it has changed my life you guys know that i don't say that lightly but honestly like i don't promote many products i don't take many supplements only my protein powder but if you are looking for a good digestive supplement i'm gonna show you okay so it's called digestive vibrance you actually have to keep it in the freezer um, and so I just have one, a half a scoop of this. The full serving size is one scoop every day. But I feel like maybe if your gut is in a bad place, you can start with that. And it's not the cheapest, it's quite pricey. So um, this is only mo one month's worth, but it then lasts me two months as I just take half a scoop a day in some water. It doesn't taste good, but trust me, the results are, wor are worth it. Like n so much less bloating, um, your digestive system just works like a dream, if you know what I mean. Um, so, because it doesn't taste great, not like a gummy vitamin, to remind yourself to take it, what a nice little trick is to do is to have it stack. So if there's something else that you do religiously every single day, if you link this new habit that you're trying to form, like taking medication or just doing anything new that you want to try, try and link it in with something you're already doing. So before I have my afternoon snack every day, regardless of what that snack is, I always take my green vibrance, digestive vibrance. And then it's like, it's also like, I know this isn't going to taste good, but at least I get to eat something delicious afterwards. So I'm going to take my green vibrance now and then I'm going to have a little salted caramel which one do I have? White chocolate, peanut, grenade bar. And then I'm gonna finish up some work and then hopefully my husband is gonna go on a little stroll for, with me um, just in the neighborhood. We like to get out and just get some fresh air, especially if we've been inside sitting the whole day. It's like really nice to just break up the day and do something nice and get some movement in. So I will check you guys back here for dinner.
Okay, dolls, it is dinner time. We just got back from a little walk down the road. We just took like a 20, 25 minute walk just to get out of the fresh air, which was lovely. And it is now going on quarter past six. As I was mentioning, we actually eating a little bit earlier um, now, which is so nice. Like I actually don't like going to bed with like a super full stomach. And because all the lean girl meals are so high volume, you know, our tummies are pretty full. So we're eating at around 6.30, quarter to seven, and then a bit later on, I'll have my little late night sweet treat. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight for dinner, I actually had planned to make a chicken stir fry, like a noodle chicken stir fry thing. And then I got into my head that I needed to have a sweet potato. Guys, I had these sweet potatoes from Big Mouth, which is a restaurant in Joburg, like, I don't know, before we left for Cape Town. And I can't tell you how good they are. It's like they have been coal roasted. So they have a coal roasted oven that they use to do all the grills. And they obviously roast the sweet potato in there for really long. And when it comes out, it is almost caramelized. The sweetest, softest, most delicious sweet potatoes I have ever tasted. I don't know how I'm gonna recreate these at home. I haven't tried yet, but I need to try. I'm gonna try just putting them in the oven, but I feel like it's that coal, the coal roasted, that's the trick. I've said to G, I might go across to Andicio's and ask them to throw it in the pizza oven. They might think I'm nuts, but we'll try. So I'm gonna make some salmon. Salmon is like a bit of a treat because I don't know, Woolworths is killing us. Woolworths is killing us with those salmon prices. So I don't get it often, but we're gonna have it tonight. Are you also having salmon, babe? You can't hear me. Normally I'll give him a steak and he's happy and then I'll save the salmon for myself, but he'll get salmon tonight. And salmon and veggies and my sweet potato, which I've ordered on Uber Eats. I ordered two sweet potatoes, cause like they're actually huge. So it'll save me for a few meals. And I ordered G chips. So he's gonna have that with his salmon. And I'll show you guys how I'm gonna whip that up. Yeah, let's do it. Ah! Uh... I don't know anyone that gets as excited about food than me. Do you, babe? Mm-hmm. Hey? I do. Who gets as excited? You are the most excitable. That's Gillan's. Oh shit, that's a good one. Mm. You know when you see the one. Oh yummy. I should have a sears rub happening there. Not lean girl food, honey. <laughs> okay, but this is the real deal. Are you ready for the undressing of the sweet potato of my dreams? Guys, can you see this? It's legit so good. Like, it's honestly, it's like caramelized. It's very, very exciting. We are gonna have to try and recreate these somehow. But for now, even they smell so good. They smell like they've been roasted on the coal fire. Babe, please smell this. Mmm. Hey! I'm so excited. Okay, let me get the salmon off the stove. Get it together. that brings us to the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you got some lovely new meal ideas to add to your lean girl menu and i hope that it showed you that to get lean to stay lean to build muscle you have to eat you have to eat enough food you have to eat food that you actually enjoy eating and that is going to be the key to you staying consistent Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for always showing my channel so much love. If you enjoyed this video, hit me with a comment, hit me with a like. I'm gonna go and get ready to bed. Ready to bed? 
tired. Oh, she's tired. Ready for bed. And on that note, I have a challenge for you. Something that me and G have been doing a lot better than what we used to is getting to bed on time. So I know it sounds so extreme, but we have been trying to get eight to nine hours of sleep a night. According to the research, like there are just so many unbelievable benefits for your body and for your mind in terms of sleep. So if you are only getting six to seven hours, this is your sign that you need to get to bed earlier. You need to be strict with yourself. And I promise you, you're going to be showing up in life with more energy. You are going to have more focus on all the things that you're trying to do. And it's definitely going to help you to achieve those lean body goals too. There's so much research when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to building lean muscle. If you are not sleeping enough, you are not going to have all your hard work show up in your results. So please get those 40 winks just after you watch this video. And I will see you here back on the Lingo YouTube channel next week.